Goodbye, sir. Well, that went alright, didn't it? Oh my god! Hit the fucking thing! I'm sure, like, the, the regenerate, the basically, you got. it seems like you've got to hit down those clouds. And if you don't hit them fast enough after that, they regenerate. Oh, come what the fuck on! I swear to god, if I have to fucking climb this ladder one more time, and it's going to be at least one more time, innit? I am not safe staying, I refuse to. There's nothing wrong with safe... Now, see, some people go, safe state, just cheap as fuck, cheap as fuck a safe state. It's like, yeah, how many playthrough videos have you done exactly? Oh, yeah, that's correct. Zero. If you've done, like, oh, I, I don't know, like, a couple of thousand or more videos and shit like that, then, um, fair enough. But, you know, free, feel free to have your opinion on safe states or not, but... For the sake of doing videos, safe states are extremely fucking handy. They can fucking stop it from dragging out for, like, an hour. When it could have been done in, like, ten minutes. And it's more entertaining to watch. Videos are about fucking entertainment first, rather than, like, going, oh, well, you fucking suck at this, or, oh, you're pro at that. It's not about that. So safe states are quite handy in that respect, but because I've fucking locked myself into not using them for this bit anyway, I've made a wrong choice. <laughs> oh, Yeah, I've got no complaints about safe states at all. Whatever gets the game done. I mean, there's a certain limit that I do think is a little bit cheesy, even when doing playthroughs. I, I consider, like, kind of like, do one hit on the boss, safe state. Do one hit on the boss, safe state, etc. That's questionable. But once again, whatever it takes to get the video done and for it to be fun for both of you and the fucking viewer, is whatever it takes. But th th I would say that was questionable, but not wrong. Not by a long shot. Nothing's wrong. There is no rules. No box? Fuck it, I go shit. I don't want your stinking box. Nice. Obviously, I say that with a little bit of sarcasm. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh my god. Why did I say no safe states? Fuck me. It's so doable though, just... Something is not clicking right for me with those clouds. And every so often I've run into trouble here for some reason. What?! I just did not see that at all. What the fuck?! It's typical, isn't it? The exact spot where you would go down the ladder is the exact spot I chose to crouch. The exact spot. How many parts are we into on this bit now, lads? Four? At least three. Jesus. F excuse me. F what was I going to say though? Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, to be fair though, this is one of those um, games along the lines of I Wanna Be the Guy where um, if you don't like loads of retries, then you are watching the wrong playthrough. That's one of the reasons why, I mean, like I said, I'm not fucking using safe states. Not on this first um, run through, anyway. As I say, if you don't like multiple retries, then... Do you see it sometimes on... Let me have a... Can I have a, can I have a break for, like, one minute? In fact, I'll, I'll roll a normal smoke. Because I've been using my e-cig, but I've also been using um, normal tobacco recently because my e-cig's just getting fucked, really. I need a new atomizer. I need, I've only got one battery out of three. One broke, one's fucked, and one works. So I need a completely new e-cig setup, really. So uh, I've got orangey fluid, which I wouldn't recommend, isn't very nice. So I've been doing like, for lack of a better word, half and half. <laughs> Between like the e-cig and um, tobacco. Is there a cat trying to get onto my chair? No. I would say something towards my cat, but the problem is, every time I speak to that cat, she gets a little bit too excited and she'll definitely run over, and there's no space at the end because I've got a joystick on my lap. So I won't excite her for no reason. What was I going to say though? 
Oh shit, Taz run down. Soon stop that. Yeah, let's just have a break for one minute, man. Just one, maybe two. Or however long it takes. Minutes. Yeah, as I was saying. You sometimes see it on, um, like, I want to be the guy player for who's going, Oh my god, what the fuck, man? This isn't right fun to watch if you're doing the same part for, like, three fucking parts, like 30 odd minutes and shit. Maybe not like, in that turn, but that's what I like to think that turn is. And it's kind of like, well, you know, you're watching a game that's all about dying. You know, like, you die to figure out what you're supposed to do, and then you kind of, like, it's just, it's hard to actually do it after that. So why would you watch one of those games if you were so adverse to a player dying shit tons and retrying and retrying and retrying and that's what those games are similar thing with ghouls and ghosts unless you're pro it you see with games like this stuff like you want, i mean i've not watched a walkthrough of this but i can guarantee there's plenty of walkthroughs and i can guarantee that people could have completed it like what three maybe four times by now but this is effectively blind for me. I mean, I did the first couple of stages, maybe like got to stage three or something in the arcade. I can't remember. But other than that, it's blind, far from pro. So I mean, what do you expect? I don't actually like using the term blind. It's like, oh yeah, I'm doing this blind or I'm doing that blind because pretty much every fucking game I do is blind. I mean, there's some exceptions, like, like I was saying before, I mean, I played one of the first couple of levels on the arcade of this, and, um, Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, I'd played them through before, like, once. But, it's kind of like, every single game, pretty much, is blind for me, because I've either never played them, because I spent the vast majority of, like, what, from when I was 10 till, well, pretty much now, playing very specific PC games, either first-person games, or something like StarCraft or WarCraft, or something like you know, an MMO, like EverQuest or some shit like that. So console games especially, I mean, I played them, but nothing enough to kind of like remember what the fuck I'm doing. And uh, same goes for a lot of single player games, I mean, I was too busy playing other shit, especially from about 13 or 14 when I got the net, it was just all multiplayer games, and it's only been since HDSF that I've actually gone back and actually started enjoying single player games again. I think the commentary has something like interesting for me, playing through single player games. I think I said this before. The um, the topic rings a bell. So yeah, pretty much everything's blind to me. I've either never played it or I've only ever played it once and I can't remember fuck all about it. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I've played Resident Evil 3 before. Still don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I could play Resident Evil 3 now. Still wouldn't know what the fuck I'm doing. And I like it that way. Makes it more fun. Especially from a commentary standpoint. The only games that I could see where playing them blind would be a serious disadvantage would be adventure games. Which is why I've stayed clear at the moment. Yeah, I've, I've avoided adventure games. I mean, I, I recorded Monkey... I did try to do a Beneath a Steel Sky set, but that fucked up a long time ago, probably about over a year ago. And earlier on this year I recorded Monkey Island, but... I got to actually land on Monkey Island and then something happened at the time and I can't remember what, but it's... It, it pushed me back like weeks and I never got around to recording and I get strong special I'll probably go back and um, do the special edition rather than the original. But playing adventure games through blind, good luck to you. Good luck to you. Good thing for me is that I've played most of the adventure games. But it's been so long I don't think I could even remember what to do properly. Monkey Island up to the point of landing on the island, I could probably do that almost blindfolded. So that's not too bad. On the island, mm, maybe not. I'd have a rough idea, but I won't be able to do it exactly. Beneath the Steel Sky, about three quarters of the game I could maybe do, like, um, without the, the aid of a walkthrough. But, I mean, you can still do them. I mean, I've still got plans to do them, because it's like, well, you just, you say, look, I'm going to use a walkthrough when I need be. If I get stuck on a, f a puzzle for, like, um, ten minutes and I can't figure out what to do next, stuff like that, for the sake of the video, I'm going to use a walkthrough and that's absolutely fine. It's one. It's like going back to that safe state thing. For the sake of the video and the like, the viewer and your entertainment and shit like that, it's perfectly legit. There is no wrong or right way of doing shit. There is no fucking rules, despite what some people have said. There is no fucking rules. That's funny. I could have sworn this was HD Sephard Ghouls and Ghosts, not how to LP. Never mind. <laughs> 